welcome to Open Heavens Reflections based on the devotional written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Biodo Bishesa. I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Stillwaters, in Colchester, Essex. Uh, our topic for today is qualified for commendation. Our Bible passage is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 19 to 21. After a long time, the Lord of the servants came and reckoned with them. And so he that hath received five talents came and brought the other five talents, saying, Lord, you delivered unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done. Thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Our memory verse is taken from Revelations 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to every man according as his work shall be. A reflection. In our Bible reading for today, we saw the servant who, has, who was commended by his master for getting five talents and for making an additional five talents as profit. He was told, uh, well done, you good and faithful servant. Uh, let us just analyze those words of commendation. He was called a good servant. What makes him a good servant? Uh, what makes him good was that he did the will of his master. He was given the talents, and he used the talents for the purpose for which he was given. Remember that another servant got the same talent and buried it, claiming that his master was one that liked to reap where he had not sold. By obeying the voice of our master, we can be said to be good servants. I pray that you and I will be good servants in Jesus' name. The Bible says that Abraham obeyed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. The servant was also commended for being faithful. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2, that it is expected in a steward or a servant that a man be found faithful. Faithfulness is the hallmark of a servant who wants to please his master. This servant was found faithful as he obeyed his master. When he obeyed his master, he made profit from the resources that his master handed over to him, and he was commended by his master. When we do the will of God, he is also always faithful to reward us for our faithfulness in his service. Your pastor or your leader might not recognize your faithful dedication to duty, but the Lord, whom we all serve, recognizes what you are doing. And he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Peter specifically asked the Lord what reward, of, what was the reward of those who left everything to follow him, what their reward would be. Jesus did not miss his words to state, that, to state what the reward was going to be. Jesus answered and he said, Verily I say unto you, that there is no man that had left house or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake, and the gospels. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, and persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. I pray that you will not lose your reward in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ action point. Think of a way to use your God-given talent to expand God's kingdom on earth, be it through your giving or your aggressive soul winning. In all these areas, I pray that the Almighty God will bless you. God bless you. Till I come your way again, have a good day.